Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. This is going to be Dragon Quest XI running on the GPD Win 2. Right here is the TDPD utility that is exclusive for the GPD Win 2. It'll also, it should also run on 7Y30 platforms. This will not be a thing that most people have to worry about. This is just really for this handheld. We'll go ahead and just run it at 8 watts. It doesn't really need much more than that. It is able to hit uh, its max GPU frequency quite early and fast without the CPU doing much. So uh, for most intensive stuff when there's a lot of things being drawn, the GPU is pretty much redlined and the CPU is just waiting for the GPU to request more stuff to happen. The most important bit for everyone will be looking in Documents, My Games, Dragon Quest XI, Saved, so Config, Windows No Editor, and then Game User Settings. Now you can see right here, it says Copy. What I do recommend you to do is just to go ahead and copy and paste so that it will automatically create a copy of your current config. If, you right, if I right click on here, you'll see that I already have it set to Read Only. And we need to do that every time that we make this change, otherwise the game will overwrite that setting for us. So if we go ahead and go into Game User Settings, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set most all of these to zero. Let us just focus in on here. Sorry for the crazy zooming. Uh, you can see that I have anti-aliasing set to three and I have texture quality set to two. Um, the texture quality will only really come into effect when you are close to objects. It's still not going to respect objects that are far away. If we scroll down, you can see that our screen percentage right here, we are overriding the lowest setting it can go to. So if you go in the in-game set, uh, settings editor, you'll only be able to do 65% scale. So if we have our 1280 by 720, it'll render all the 3D stuff at 65% less, which still kind of beats up on the GPU of this GPD win a little bit too much. So we're gonna go ahead and lower it down to 45, as well as lowering all the other settings down to zero. And that will give us what we need to do to be able to run this game at a more than more or less constant 30 frames a second. So that is the settings. I keep anti-aliasing at three just because, whoa, the focus is going crazy here. Apologies. Uh, the reason I keep this at three is just to, even out how uh, rough the aliasing can get when we hit that re render resolution so low, uh, the scaling render resolution. So we'll go ahead and go to properties and set read only again. And that is gonna be your biggest thing for ga gaining a lot of your performance. So we'll go ahead and flip into controller mode. I am also running in full screen mode. So what happens when we force these settings in the any file is that it kind of is a little wonky. And one very quick way to get around that is to just hit escape and then spacebar. And I'll show it so you can see right here, this is all weird. This is kind of squished. Okay, so you can see this is all squished. So if we just hit escape, space, everything is fine now. Let me go ahead and... It looks crazy good on this screen. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. So one of the things that I do have to show, and I will show it at the bottom of the screen, is this is some streaming stuff that I have to show when I capture footage, just to be compliant. Now, one of the things you don't want to do is do not go to system settings, as that will override the read-only setting that you've set in the any file. You just want to go ahead and play straight into it. Otherwise, you'll only get as low as 65% uh, resolution scale. Right here we can see our package power, our current frame rate, frame time, and our uh, max FPS, no, average FPS. So one of the things that we can see, you can saw that, that pop-in that came in. It's not too bad. It's the pop-in is actually pretty far away, even though we have set it to as low as it can possibly go. But it's still quite playable, even though we have it set at, uh, we can hit 60. So if we just kind of like look at a wall, we will go into 60 and you'll see that we will, our package power will start using more, more power just to hit this frame rate. I really don't recommend it. This is more just to show that it can scale pretty far, but, um, I'm, I would almost rather people if they're playing on a win two to limit your FPS to 30, just because we're kind of just wasting power at this point. There's no real benefit to having this be smooth at this section and not so smooth over here. So if we're hitting like 30 over here, um, 
I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it's it's worth it. So this is just for demonstration purposes anyway. So let's just go ahead and kind of zoom in on this guy just so you can see how things kind of look with this at 45% render scale. It's not too bad, but you can kind of see over here on the steps and stuff that the textures aren't super great and they are a little bit more muddy since we're further away. But if we get close to them, you'll see that the texture quality will rapidly increase. So based on how far away we are from it, texture quality will be affected. But for the most part, the game is quite playable. The biggest frame rate hit that we have is when we're drawing all these detailed models and the buildings and such. If there are less models and less building, um, a frame rate goes up like crazy, literally going up the Tor uh, mountain, the beginning scene. I was easily getting 50 to 60 FPS at the same wattage, but being in this city scene, we're actually uh, getting considerably less FPS currently. And 45% resolution scale is what I consider to be um, a nice balance because of frame rate and visual quality, especially with some of the characters that we have. Can I talk this dude? Like, I really like Akira Toriyami, uh, Toriyama's uh, design and when we get it to even lower just increase frame rate for whatever reason you really start muddying how that looks I can show you what that looks like real quick again 45% resolution scale works just fine this is around 480p I should really do the math on that I will put it in the comment section what the actual resolution would be um, but I'm guessing it's around there because 50% resolution scale is 507p and 5% less is got to be around 480 somewhere so um, yeah, that's that. Uh, we're rendering a lot of different stuff here right now, like lots of different models. Generally speaking, it's not going to get much worse than this, and this is uh, considerably playable. But let's go ahead and just go ahead and put our resolution scale down even more, just to see what the 3DS version of this game would look like. All right, just so you guys can see what will change if we are in screen percentage, and we go ahead and change this to 20. And we shall save. Always remember to check read only. We'll go ahead and play the game again. Okay, once again, this is all squished. Very easy to fix. You just hit escape and then spacebar, and we're back into it. I can't stress how, enough how amazing this title screen looks on this screen. I don't know if I can. Looks sick. Uh, anywho, let me go ahead and move over to gamepad mode, and we'll press start. We'll continue, and we're going to see what the 3DS version of Dragon Quest XI looks like. I really love this recap screen. Um, I, it's been a while since I've really enjoyed a JRPG. I mean, a long time. They, a lot of them were grind fests, and there's a lot of different things here that kind of get you up to speed. <laughs> so this is what the 3DS version would look like. What kind of frame rate are we getting? 44. So I guess if you wanted like absolute frame rate, uh, you could totally do 20% resolution scale if you wanted to. The game is uh, considerably smoother when like this, but you're really ruining the detail. Let's see what a character looks like when we. Yeah, it's just just a blob. Um, so my my preference again is 45%. That is the the balance. But again, it doesn't let you do that by default in the settings. It'll only let you do 65%. Uh, let's go ahead and press Y. We'll go to miscellaneous system settings, graphics. So you can see screen percentage is set to 20. But by default, it won't allow you to do that. So just pushing that a little bit forces us to 65. There's nothing we can do about that. We'll go ahead and confirm. 
and now this is the best frame rate that you're going to get. So we've already forced ourselves into using 65% resolution scale and you can see that all of the resolution is considerably better but our frame rate has suffered quite a bit. Again, 45% resolution scale is best. Just don't touch the display settings after you've set it in the ini file so that the graphics settings doesn't override what we've set. As long as you just start the game and play, you'll be able to do it just fine. Uh, and that's it. That with That is how you'll be able to adjust the settings to get better performance on a low-end machine. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.